thank you for coming. I know it's early in the day, and sitting around listening to people talk is not always the most exciting thing in the world, but since we all survived law school, we were pretty good at doing that. <laughs> uh, and now we could probably do some more. The name of this panel is Reflections on Newsel Always Forward. Um, I think what we're going to talk about is what we took from this place and why all of us were willing and indeed happy to come back today. One of the um, to me, emblematic experiences I remember in law school. Uh, I took a legal accounting course, and a guy named Horowitz came from Harvard. He was a full professor, and it was the summer because I chose my co ops for fall and spring because you could wear the same clothing, both, <laughs> where if you did summer and winter, you needed two different sets of clothes. <laughs> so, uh, plus, you know. Plus, you're not competing with every other law student for the job in the summer. Uh, but Horowitz came, and our class was, first of all, women were unusual in law schools. We had half, which meant we had really smart women. Um, and Horowitz came in, and he starts the first day he's up there, and he runs his hand down the class list, and he comes up with Phyllis. I don't remember Phyllis's last name. Um, but he, Gelman, Gelman, I think, right. And he calls on her, and she said, what did you just do? And this guy's in shock. He said, what do you mean? I, I called on you to answer a question. She said, we don't treat people like that. And I said, well, what if, what, what do you do? She said, you ask a question. Someone raises their hand. We have a discussion. We're adults here. And this guy was like, well, what if no answers? She said, very unlikely, but I guess we could cross that bridge if we And, you know, the sophistication, the relative sophistication of the Northeastern student compared to any other law student as an employer is really, really, the, the difference is stark um, because you've just working in law firms or working in different situations and working with different people, it just creates a totally different lawyer and you're ready to, to really work and be in the workplace as opposed to coming out of Harvard Law, frankly, Harvard Law School or something where you've just worked a summer or two. So um, I just think there's nothing like it and you know I think it's one of the reasons why we all uh, feel so fondly about the school. You know, I had a great grade four co-op experiences. They were very much in the, um, the nature of the practice that I went into after graduation. So I can't say that I experimented all of that much, but I, I thought I knew what, <laughs> right, not with co-op jobs, <laughs> but I, I, uh, I knew, sort of knew what I wanted to do. And the, the co-op enabled me to, uh, to um, develop that interest and uh, to make the connections that I needed to make in order to to get into the trial business and the daily trial cases, which is what I've been doing for 40 years. Northeastern was having a, a recruitment panel in DC where I lived at the time, like a week or two later. Mm -hmm. And I remember going and talking to people there and it was so different than all of the other law school presentations I had seen because everyone talked about how amazing the experience of learning was at Northeastern. As a Northeastern co-op, I, I paired up with a guy named Lou Massaro, who was a great trial lawyer, and he says, come on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna teach you um, how to answer the list in Boston. So we went to the BMC, the Boston Municipal Court, call the motion list. He said, here's where you come for the call the motion list at nine o'clock in the morning. First call, I said, great. He says, now we're gonna go to the BMC, call the trial list. So we go across the hall, he says, here's where you come at nine o'clock in the morning for the BMC call the trial list. I said, okay, that's great. He says, now we're going to go over to Suffolk Superior Court. So we go across up three floors and across the other building. He says, here's where you come for the motion session at Suffolk. First call, 9 o'clock in the morning. I said, great. Call the trial list. Suffolk Superior Court, 9 o'clock in the morning. I said, wait a minute. I said, we've got four guys doing this. No, he says, no, you're going to cover all four sessions. There isn't, a, there isn't a law student in America that had that kind of experience. Northeastern was the only possible school that would have provided me the opportunity to be able to structure that practice. And I was just lucky I happened to be there at the beginning of ADR. Uh, so it, it enabled my career for which I'm grateful.